Yeah, that's officially the coldest. Coldest run I've ever done. Here's my first tip when running in extreme cold is with your hot packs that you're going to have to put in your shoes. Have them warmed up in your home before you head out. Put them in your shoes when they're warm. Don't put them in there waiting for them to warm up inside your shoe. Good morning, everyone. I'm down at Bonus Park. It's currently in the car registering minus 35 degrees Celsius. Ground temperature is minus 44 degrees Celsius. Slight bit of wind, bringing it close to the negative 50 degrees Celsius. So I believe this is officially the coldest run I've ever done. I've run in minus 38. Maybe after this video, check out that video. I think it was around minus 38 that day. It is now early January and we're in the middle of a four day brutal cold snap here in Calgary. A week ago, it was, I think a week ago, Saturday, it was around minus two maybe. And we had this Arctic blast come down that affected most of North America for that matter. Uh, record temperature set everywhere down in the United States and lots of Canada, at least in the Western part of Canada. So you know what minus 50-ish means? It's time to go for a run. Tip number one, don't wear anything cotton. <coughs> well, it's hard to breathe in. Or down for that matter, because down when it gets wet, it shrinks and you get some major George Costanza action going on. Synthetic materials, wool, they work the best. Everyone, it's, it's the hands. I got my snow mitts, ski mitts basically, and I have hand warmers inside, but as soon as you pull your hands out, I know I could be wearing liner gloves right now, but I think it's a little bit overkill for the temperature. But as soon as you put your take your hands out and you're exposing them to the elements here when it's this cold, it just makes everything a lot slower to try to put up zippers and all that kind of stuff. Maybe there's some people who do mountain expeditions that can throw some comments down below. Besides, I know some of you might be saying, just don't run outside when it's this cold. That's not going to happen for this guy. There we go, there we go. A lot of times I'll wear ski goggles when it's this cold, but I don't think I will this morning. This uh, hat I got from my friend Ashley works really well with the brim on it. Keeps the ears warm and everything. Time to get going. The good thing is, is that there are not many people down here. Everyone, I had to go back and get my ski goggles. The wind, holy crap. Just that little bit of wind, pushing it closer to minus 50. Woo! It's fresh. This is not clouds, this is the Bow River here being substantially warmer. Of course, around the zero mark Celsius. And then we have all this frigid air above it and it's just making these vapor clouds. Hey AJ, if you're watching this, I bet you don't see this down in Australia.
Tell me nature's not beautiful in its own twisted way. The sun is starting to come up, which, oh, there's a sec here. <coughs> well, <coughs> ooh, which will make it colder for a little bit because it warms up the air close to the ground. Kind of just pops it up a little bit so it's gonna feel a little bit colder for a bit, but, oh. I'll tell you right now, those chemical hand warmers claim to last seven to eight hours or whatever. Half an hour in these conditions. And they are not, they're not gonna be hot anymore. so nice and peaceful down here yes you can hear the vehicles but there's no one else down here I can barely see out of my <laughs> ski goggles. We are frozen up everyone. Just about done. Yeah, that's officially the coldest. Coldest run I've ever done. Not so brilliant, Dog Walker Dave. I've run at minus 50 when you consider the wind chill, and you have to consider the wind chill when you're running when it's really cold. Because living things are affected by wind chill, not uh, cars or anything else that are not living, but living things are affected by wind chill. So I've run at minus 50, factoring in wind chill and also all the way up to plus 50. There, put that on my gravestone. <laughs> I don't know how long I ran. I'd say 40 minutes a second. Oh, looky there, 45, uh, 45 minutes. <coughs> I don't know how far that was. Five, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Coldest I've ever run. The limiting factor for me today to go any longer or colder would be my feet, even with the toe warmers and merino wool socks, and lots of room on my toes. Feet were just cold, just freaking cold. I got one more tip for you, everyone, as the key fob froze <laughs> in the car. That was a little touch and go. Oh. Here's why, one more tip. Uh, besides, run on a treadmill or don't run when it's this cold. But have a nice hot drink. I put a nice hot drink 
in the cooler here with a bottle of boiled water so that my coffee is nice and toasty. Thanks for watching everyone. Get outside. Don't recommend this to everyone. This is just a little cold for even us Canadians. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Peace.